In this week's video, we're going to make a bumblebee cake and that's coming right up. from Happy Bee Cakes. Yes, I changed the channel name and I thought the channel can't be called Happy Bee Cakes without creating a Happy Bee Cake. So I decided to create this little guy. Ta -da! And I think he looks pretty happy. What do you think? I think he's really happy. You think he's really happy? Okay, Happy Bee. Bye, Dad. You're so cute. <laughs> if you're new here, why don't you buzz on over and hit subscribe. <laughs> so you don't miss any more Happy Bee Cake videos. Let's get busy. Or as we say in Northern Ireland, let's be having you. Or another one, let's be creative. <laughs> okay, I'll stop for the bee jokes now. Buzz, buzz. And speaking of our Happy Bee Cake, the kids have been trying to work out a name. So if you can think of something to name our Happy Bee, It'll have to be something that can either be a boy or a girl because they've been fighting over whether it's a boy <laughs> or a girl. So if you can think of a nice name for our happy bee, leave it in the comments below. So as you can see, I've covered my cake board with light blue fondant. I've created some white clouds and some darker blue clouds and I've overlaid them on top of each other and rolled them on flat with my rolling pin. And now I'm using some edible dust just to create some outlines around the outside of the cake and onto the clouds. I'll leave links in the description below for all the supplies that I'm using to create this cake. Use a flat paintbrush and mix some green edible paint with alcohol and use the edge of the paintbrush and stroke upwards to create grass. And I've mixed two different colours of green to give it some contrast. I don't know about you but I get so much fun out of creating the cake boards, never mind the cakes. <laughs> Using a pound cake recipe I've baked a dome cake and a five inch round cake and we're just going to carve away at the body. I wanted this wee bee to have a really big head <laughs> and a really tiny body and I kind of modelled this bee on my kids. I'm not saying that they've got big heads and tiny bodies but they do have big big blue eyes. And I hope you like the new channel name. I've always called the kids my bee honeybee. So if you look closely at my logo, you'll see three little bees. Place your cakes using some white chocolate ganache and cover with some bright yellow fondant. Smooth this out and trim off the excess. And before the fondant dries, while it's still soft, we're going to create the eyes and the smile. So I'm using a giant cookie cutter to create a smile line. And using your rolling pin, create some eye sockets. And because this is going to be a big blue eyed bee, we're going to use our ball tool to make these eyes as big as they can possibly be. Ha <laughs> bee. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mean that one, sorry. And I'm going to create a playlist with all different types of animal cakes, so you can check that out by clicking the link above. Cover your body, your bee's body now with black fondant and why we've black fondant now because I hate working with black fondant, it's so messy. We're going to create two circles, these are going to be for the antennas. So leave those to the side to dry. And using some light blue fondant, just the same stuff that we used for cake boards, roll that boards, one cake board will suffice. <laughs> Roll it into a ball and flatten it down with your ruler and yes I know I really need to get a proper ruler for my cake especially now that my cake videos are on YouTube. <laughs> Stick the eyes on and work with them to get them to the correct size and now I'm using some of the same blue dust and I've added alcohol to it to turn it into edible paint and we're just creating a blue outline for the eyes. Add some black fondant to create pupils. And I think, you know what, we could learn a lot from bees. They're really, really clever wee creatures and they all have their own personality. Some of them can be really adventurous and some of them are really timid. And they also work really, really hard. In fact, female bees are the hardest workers. Yeah, no surprises there then. <laughs> I'm creating a smile line, rolling out some black fondant. Oh, and my little bee is so cute. Am I the only person that talks to my cakes whenever I'm creating them, especially if they're little cute creatures? 
just me then? Alrighty then, let's move on. Creature antennas, no. <laughs> I've got some florist wire here, some black edible glitter, and now that our, our balls have dried out, we're going to pour some glitter into a bowl, and black glitter is also really messy. Spray your balls with, <laughs> with some water, and roll it about inside your... I'm so bad at doing these voiceovers! So roll that in a bowl with your glitter and your glitter will hopefully stick to the bowl and leave those to the side to dry out a little bit more now. So using your black floristry wire, fold it into three. This will just make it nice and strong. Secure it at each end and leave those to the side as well. Um, a bee isn't a bee without some stripes so we're going to roll out some of our yellow fondant and create some stripes. Use some water to stick those on. And I would love to see your bee creations or any animal cakes that you've created. So if you tag me at Happy Bee Cakes on Instagram or Twitter, I would love to see your creations. And you never know, I might even feature some of your work in a future video. So we're going to stick little bees' antennas on now. Oh my god, I just love this wee guy. Hello. Hello, buggy, buggy bee. I told you this is how I talk to my cakes. What is wrong with me? <sighs> so I've got this cobblestone mould and use some white fondant and press it into the mould to give the wings some texture. And I've used a, a large heart cutter. Place your wings onto your little bee. And I'm using some of the blue edible dust just to create a nice blue outline on the wing. Cut out some tiny strips of black fondant and stick those on around the outside of your bee's wings. My name is Buzzy Bee. Actually, I have no name. Can you give me a name? That's it for me for this week. Maybe you should click on this UFL so you don't miss any future happy bee cake. I'll see you in the comments below and don't forget, be creative, be happy!